So the first step in creating an automation is to download a Photoshop script called Add File Name Plus. It's on the Adobe uh, Exchange uh, Photoshop community. If you click on the hot link there where it says click here to visit Adobe script page, it should take you to that page. Once you've got the script, you need to bring it up in a word processor as text only and set parameters that I've highlighted in yellow there. So some of the parameters that you need to set are you can put text before your file name. I chose to leave that blank, so I took out the reference number. But I did have to leave the double quotes and the semicolon. It's important to do that. You can put text after the file name. You can put a copyright. I chose to take that out, so I took that text out, left the quotes and the semicolon. The text size I changed to 18 point. I left the font at Comic Sans and made the text color white with a 255, 255, 255. So if you also want to change the text position, you can. It's at 2 and 95 in the blend mode. I changed to difference. Those are the only changes I made. Uh, you go up then. Once you're done with making those uh, changes in some of the uh, options to be set, you go up to file and you do a save as and I saved it to the desktop so I could find it and I named it add file name plus and made the uh, JS for a JavaScript file making sure that it's saved as plain text and it was saved as a Windows default and click OK so once that's done you can close this file and now go into Photoshop <clears throat> and notice that it's saved on the desktop as add file name plus. I copied that to the clipboard and then on Windows I went into the C drive under program files Adobe Adobe Photoshop I have CS2 but it might be CS3 if you have CS3 go into the presets folder and from the presets folder you go into scripts and you do want to go up to edit and paste and then you'll have add file name plus in the correct folder that for Photoshop to read it. You now want to create pics to convert to pan digital in the folder by themselves and also create a brand new folder called pan digital. I do this so that I can have a place to send the photos once they're converted and I have a folder where all the folder photos reside that I want to convert and I move the uh, new folder pan digital to the desktop which is currently empty and the other folder has the pictures to convert so one of the things you have to do is change the file names I usually give it the date that it was taken and give a short description so if there's people in the picture I might name the people uh, if it was a certain date that the picture was taken I would uh, change that date and do that for all the file names files because that file name is going to become part of the picture that's displayed on your pan digital display. So once you've done all of that, uh, you've got your pictures now ready to convert in Adobe Photoshop. And so that's our next step. So what we're going to do is we're going to record an action. And the first thing you want to do is click on this folder to create a new action set and give it a descriptive name. I've got the name here called Convert Pan Digital. Descriptive, and next you're going to create a new action that you're going to record. So you give it a name. I'm going to call this one "Convert to 452 Pixels." That's going to be 452 pixels high. So the first thing I do is go into Image and Mode, and anything I want changed to RGB colors. I do not want it grayscale or anything else. And now I want to go to image, image size, and I want to change the height and leave the width link to it. And I want to make sure the resolution are all the same on it. So I'm going to change my resolution to 72 pixels per inch. And I want to resample the image now down uh, when I change it and make the height 452 pixels high. And let the width be whatever the width is. So now once I've done that, I want to take and change the background to a layer. 
So I'll make it a layer from the background by right clicking on that and just accept it. the default as layer 0. So once I've got that done, I now want to go into Photoshop and run the action that we've just uh, updated called Add File Name Plus. It's going to now put the file name as part of the picture. I want now to go and make some blending options for that file name. And I want to go, go and create an outer glow on that. And I'm going to change it from the yellow to a black. I'm going to have an outer glow of black. And I'm going to go up to where it says screen. I want to change the screen to multiply. And I want to bump up the opacity from 75% to 100%. Uh, so I have 100% opacity. I want the spread to go around 38% in my case. It seems to work well. And I'm sliding over here a little bit so you can see what the text looks like. And it won't look like much yet. Uh, and move the size uh, around 15 or 10. 10, I think, works well here. So now you want to go and create an inner glow. And I want to change that color to white. Now that I have a white inner glow, I want to go up and change the opacity uh, and bump that up a little bit to 100%. And I want to go down to where it says choke, and I want to move that out uh, because it makes for clear reading text on the screen. And here I move that to around 15% and the size at 5 pixels and left everything else the same. So now <clears throat> when that has all been set um, you can click OK on this window and you've got your file name that has a background and you do that because it's going to be on different pictures you want to be able to read it on whatever background it is. So the next step I want to go to the layer and I want to flatten the image and this is a large dialog box but way down towards the bottom it says flatten image and you notice we've recorded the action called flatten image. Uh, we now go to file, do a save as. You want to go to the desktop and find your folder which is your pan digital pictures and click save. Make sure it's a quality of 8 make sure it's baseline not progressive. Uh, the frames won't read a progressive picture. And you click OK, then you do a file and a close. So now you've recorded your action. You want to stop your action. You click the little square button that says stop playing recording. And you have recorded your action. So the next step you want to select convert to 452. You want to go to batch action, automating the batch actions in Photoshop. And notice it already, since you had selected that, it's going to action is going to convert to 452. And now you want to choose the source folder to use. So you click on the choose button, and you got to scroll around to find your desktop folder, which I believe goes all the way at the bottom here, and it's pictures to convert to pan digital. Click OK for there, and now choose the destination folder. So there you you're going to choose the pan digital folder and click OK. And you don't need to change any of the other options on this menu, and just click OK. And Photoshop will run through every picture, add the file name, resize it properly. And when it's done, it leaves you with a folder called Pan Digital that has all of your photos in it that have been resized properly and are the right configuration to play in your Pan Digital frame. And that automates an uh, easy way to automate and to load now your pictures into your photo frame either by a card or the USB and it works very well.